Hello, and begin to start another instantiation of Frobnitsyn's modular moment. <clears throat> this is the moment. I'm Frobnitsyn. Yesterday, following a total teardown, I built up some example patches, and I've elaborated on them some here on this one. So I'll tell you the few changes that I made. The one thing that I left out, which was the whole point behind this ratcheting clock, is to utilize some noise in the CBN for the ratcheting clock, which is causing this. And I can play around with it, I can cause it to go all over the place. It's, it's very tricky to get balanced. Anyway, with this clock divider, I can set it so that it divides sets by one, two, three, four, etc. Cardinal numbers, or two, four, six, eight, or uh, by some other amount. So um, I like to use the ones that allow odd numbers. At any rate, this puts that together so that it varies. And originally, that's how I was getting some varying. Another thing that I used to use a lot was this. The dope for precision adder. And I want to get this back in the case. It's another situation where you can plug four items in, you can boost the voltage, subtract the voltage, leave them alone, get to the sums at the bottom. So when you're running multiple sequencers, you have multiple things to play with. <clears throat> but I had to make room to get some stuff in here. I should be able to get that back in, but that means I've got to probably shift a whole bunch of stuff around. So, like I said, I patched all that back up yesterday, and that's up there meandering around right now at the moment. Um, so, what you're hearing down here is a patch I put together to save the trouble of fumbling around and instead just walk you through it. So from left to right I've got power supply, a ribbon cable, ribbon controller that I don't use much. I've got the joystick, I've got the Latic sequencer which I love. I love this because it's cheap and you can see what you're doing. It takes up a lot of real estate but still the old school eight step sequencing that can do some pretty cool stuff. Like I just switched it to go from uh, circular around to back and forth. I forget what that's called. Anyway, now if I hold this down again, now we're random. Okay, so The output from this sequencer, the LATIC that is, comes from this CD out right here. <clears throat> and uh, it uh, is coming up here to this 2HP tune. We've got it set on a minor scale. We play around with the octaves here or on the sequencer. Anyway, you can play around with the scale, leave it at minor. Here's a very kind of interesting malt from Chaos Devices. Um, anyway, here's the Victor being driven by this sequencer. There's some, there's some other racket in the background here. So now, I will plumb my external joysticks back in again to this guy. Because, as I said in another video when I dressed this thing down, I left these guys plugged in 
these pluggables are going into a molt X and wire here and I've got <clears throat> um, copies. I've got a copy going up here to the chaos. I've got a copy of that now coming down here to the joystick in on this guy. So with this setup, this joystick can run this joystick or this joystick can run just the module or I can pick up the outs from this joystick, take it up to this rack. So I could have one joystick with multiple, controlling multiple CV sources, and I can have a secondary joystick controlled by the first one, and I can have the output of the second one becoming a tertiary input to another module somewhere along down the line, if that makes any sense at all. But that's one of the beauties of your rack, is it's so flexible. And I've uh, never had anything quite like multiple joysticks before. So I'm kind of keen to play with them. Let me get some cables out of the way here. So anyway, this is patched up. So my my one volt per octave data is coming in here. I got a copy. Uh, my one volt per octave is coming in here. Got a copy coming out here to the, to the Victor. Copy coming out here to the doper. The gate is coming out of the sequencer here into this little cluster, and I'm using it to gate this guy, and I'm using a copy of the gate over here on this ADSR. And uh, I've got the doper going into this filter, got them both coming out. filter's got some problems. And then uh, I'm carrying that on up here. So now, this is one complete voice made of two oscillators. I'm not getting this one through yet. I'll figure that out. But at any rate, There's that hygge horn that I had going last night. I still haven't quite figured out what's causing that. Probably that is what I thought. It's coherent. Okay, got some vocal processing out of the Platz engine in the brain here.